this fucking thing with? Been nice I'm not typing in my old username into uh, my go live messages now. I really would like to. Penis. Thing. It. Wiener. I lost a whole bunch of subscribers. <laughs> Say that again? <laughs> I lost a whole bunch of subscribers. Cause of the turnover. Yep. Disco yeah. stick. <laughs> Disco stick? That's what Marco called a penis. That's a new one, and that one's going in the back pocket. <laughs> oh. Ah. Take it to the candy shop. Ah. Hmm. Finally got my fries, Marco. <laughs> took 50 hours later oh god what the hell it was so infuriating and annoying it's like i wouldn't have mind playing paying for the fries again if they would have just like not charged me a million bucks for it i had to add an ice cream and a mcchicken to it just to get the price to not be like a bunch of money it's like gosh Lady Gaga, Ga that sounds like something she would say. That makes total sense. I love Lady Gaga. Fun, fun story. <laughs> I used to know this guy named Chris. Years ago, he used to date, he used to be married to one of my friends. I didn't really care much for Chris. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Uh, we didn't get along very well. Um, I didn't really like him being married to my friend either because I just thought he was a bad person. And turns out I'm right. He's in prison for abusing his son. So, um, I was on the internet and I was doing some stuff and I had a music list playing and Lady Gaga came up. He's like, I can't stand that Lady Gaga. And I'm like, why? It's like, it's a man pretending to be a woman. I'm like, can you prove that? He started pulling up pictures of her where she would be wearing tight clothing. He's like, yeah, don't you see the bulge? I'm like, it's not a bulge. It's called camel toe. That's when women wear tight clothes and their pussy lips get pushed up. Don't you know anything about females and anatomy? It looks nothing like a bulge. So yeah, he used her having camel toe as an excuse to call her a man. I've heard so many people call her a man. It's disgusting. 
Because she's not like typical Barbie doll looking woman. She looks like an actual real woman. I think she's gorgeous. You know my favorite time when she leaned into that? What? She was on the first episode of RuPaul's Drag Race one season. Mm -hmm. She came in in drag. To fool everyone. Uh-huh. And once they figured it out, you know, they were, like, freaking out. She's, like, a, you know, staple in the queer community. But it's, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's a, she's a gay icon. Excuse me, everyone. I'm eating a muffin. What'd you say? Was there more to the story? No. That's just... Uh, I feel like she leaned into that whole I'm a man thing by going on a drag show. Oh, that's not the vibe I got from that. I just got that vibe that she's very popular with drag queens mm -hmm. because they all do her music. All of them. Mm-hmm. I don't really feel like it was leaning into the secretly being a man thing. Jesus Christ. What did the... What... <laughs> Marco and chat. Some women have camel toe. Other has moose knuckles. Beef curtains for labia, etc. Everyone has different body parts. I'm not shaming a woman for her vagine. Yeah, everybody's got different shapes and sizes. Like... Mm -hmm. Not everybody can look like Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie is cisgender woman goals. Like, mm -hmm. Everybody would like strive to look like her. She's perfect in every fucking way. Not, but not everybody can do that. Some people are, you know, some people, you know, people have big noses or, you know, funny looking eyebrows or might have hair on their arms or something like that. And just people need to stop. Everybody's different. And Lady Gaga, I think she's beautiful for so many different reasons. She's she's unique. Yeah, and it's that too. People like to hate on her because you know, she's outspoken mm. and she's uh, you know, once it, you know, it kind of takes us back to what we've talked about in the past with Taylor Swift. She's a strong, independent, successful woman who didn't need a man to latch on to to get her fame. And that rubs that rubs people the wrong way. It always does. It uh, it has always garnered people, women, hate from uh, certain crowds. They did it to Madonna in the 90s, in the 80s and 90s. They've done it to her whole life. And that's another LGBTQ icon. Uh. <laughs> that's a milk burp, not a Sprite burp for once. A milk burp? Drink a lot of milk. What kind of milk do you drink? Um, I've been drinking whole a lot lately. I usually get two percent. I was getting two percent, but then I saw someone who said like whole milk is fine again in moderation. Mm -hmm. And I like whole milk. I've always like I used to buy a gallon of milk because I used to eat tons of cereal. But I cut a lot of cereal out of my diet because there isn't a cereal on the market that's good for you. It's all bad for you, folks. All of it. All of it. It's yeah. It's just it's just diabetes in a bowl. Um, but it's but, delicious uh, diabetes. It, when in I buy milk now, I just do half a gallon. Oh, I drink you a like ton of milk. First, you like the first 40 minutes of A Star Is Born, didn't like the rest. I get it, it's realistic, but I don't want spoiler suicide in a romance movie. Yeah, big, big, big uh, trigger warning with that movie. It's really well, it's a really good movie. I will give it that, but uh, I don't like sad endings either. That movie is a remake of... that. I, get, I think that movie's been re remade like four different times. Originally, it was a movie star. The Bradley Cooper one was a music star. Mm 
Fuck <laughs> off. I don't like Wally. Like the first half of Wally is this cute little story about a robot. And then the second half of the movie is uh it's basically a political statement. Wicked political statement. Yeah. <laughs> Which is it isn't bad. I still enjoy the second half, but I much prefer the first half of that movie. I'm really surprised we've never gotten a Wally 2. Especially in an era where they just love to just throw sequels at us in in bunches. Hi A! Hi A, how are you? We're playing fun peach game. Hmm. I'm doing shitty. So what time is Backlash tomorrow? That is, is it tomorrow or is it Sunday, Saturday? That's what I'm looking. And yet here we are, we got both of those. I keep, I keep thinking I'm one day ahead of myself. Saturday, I'm sorry. I keep wanting to think it's Friday. And I did this yesterday. I kept thinking yesterday was Friday. My mind is definitely stuck on payday, isn't it? <laughs> I want money. A kick. Okay, it starts. At, it'll be on at noon. Okay, I have to remember that. I <laughs> uh, no, I didn't I legitimately didn't get anything from you, eh? I have I haven't had a message from you in <clears throat> since April twentieth. When you drew that pink princess peach. Why do you keep sending me hot dudes? I want hot dudes! Send me hot dudes! I'm jealous now! Oh, your secondary account was was tagged in it, that's why. I don't have a secondary account. Your backup account? I have one Discord. On Twitter. Oh, on Twitter! Okay, hold on, let me... I got my phone right here. I have a terrible habit of not looking at my phone. So if you tag me stuff on there, I usually don't see it till later. Let me pull it up. Give me a minute. I'll, I won't. I won't embarrass you tonight. Eh? I won't show it. Let's see what we got here. Damn it. Oh, uh, that, that's AI. Oh. That's one hundred percent AI. Oh no, that's Alexis. You were talking about him before, right? I think What's he so, from yeah. again? I forget what he's. Is he a Genshin dude? Or is he a, a Assassin's Creed? I forget. I don't know. You told me before. I'm terrible. I'm, I'm like, my memory right now is just shit. Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I doing? The fuck? <laughs> One of these days, you're gonna make that jump. That day isn't today, apparently. Would... AC. Okay, he's, he's Assassin's Creed. Okay, I've not played Assassin's Creed, so I don't know the characters that well. Ah! Um, 
Yeah, hey, um, I'm, I'm, I'm lesbian. I, I don't like guys. Just every single character. I bet you could. I know who, I know who Ezio is, and that's it. Yes. Why? That's a tease. Uh, Assassin's Crossing or Animal Creed? Based off the title alone, which makes for a more interesting game. Uh, probably Assassin's Crossing. Animal Creed sounds like something uh, a little uh, furry community-ish. Um, y'all remember when Animal Crossing came out? Doom Eternal had just come out as well, and all the cross promotion people were doing, all the cross like fan art people were doing of Isabel in the Doom outfit. I thought that was Isabel and Master Chief. Eternal and Animal Crossing came out pretty much within a week of each other in 2020. I remember seeing a lot of fan art of Isabel with Master Chief. Can anyone hear me? Yes. I've been talking for like a minute and there was like like, like a long period of silence. Hey, no, yeah, I heard you. I was letting you talk. And I... I, I, I did no comeback for the Halo comment. <laughs> ah. Is this what you were talking about last night with the difficulty spike? <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, there comes a point in this game. I remember watching um, PB and Jeff play this years ago. <laughs> And I remember talking about the difficulty spike. Yeah, and it butted Master Butt. The character kind of resembled Master Chief. God Maybe it was Doom Guy I saw, and I just thought it was Master Chief because I don't play those games, and they all look like the same interchangeable character to me. Just dude in look, war armor, kind of. <laughs> war armor. War. Uh, good God, y'all. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing, okay? Uh, say it again now. <laughs> Mr. Mackey singing war. War! Oh. Okay. <laughs> Butted Master Butt. <clears throat> Yoshi Story? So happy? I do see the resemblance. Eat asshole. <laughs> when I was a kid, I thought they said eat apples. More than likely, that's what they were saying, but the internet corrupted it. I think it's literally neither one. I think it's just the, it's just a like just sound, and it's to make kind of like how Animal Crossing people speak, and it's just that kind of thing. Eep, 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 but it's just like you know, like, or like Paper Mario, all the Paper Mario people now in Thousand Year Door. Yeah. They added Banjo-style slash Animal Crossing-style 
Mini, 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 everybody. <laughs> Midna speak. Mini. I always liked her cute little voice. It was so adorable. Ah, that he. Simlish. Ubanaka. Hey, what a longa. Woohoo! Oh shit. Of course I talk about I, of course I talk about sex and I fall in love with it. <laughs> it's not called sex in the Sims, it's called woohooing. That was one of the few video games my ex-wife could handle was Sims. That tells you the type of person. Sims is a very casual game, yeah. Meanwhile, if I pulled up my sister's PS4 profile and you saw the kind of game she was playing, she'd be like, hmm, I like this girl better. What does she play? Fucking everything. Well, she's a streamer too, right? Oh, not that sister. My other sister. Oh, okay. My the one who streams does art. When she streams. I like to watch art streams. They're very relaxing. I got oh, like no. three or four of them I watch semi-regularly. I was watching one of them draw Rogue from X-Men a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> yeah, when my sister does her stream, she's usually doing her, her work. She's usually doing her emotes that she needs to work on. What does she charge for an emote? Uh, she charged me 25 bucks, but I, I'm a sibling, so I don't know if I got a discount or not. Woo! That was close. Where did that needle? That Goomba just leapt to his own death. Well done, sir. Well, Koopas do it all the time. Why not Goombas? Suicide bombers. Good job, Todd. You did it. Fuck you, Hammer Bros. You can't get me. <clears throat> so before stream and uh, voice chat on my server, I was playing MLB, and then I played WWE earlier as well. <laughs> Having a lot of fun. Ah, god damn it. That like Sims, if I were in his shoes, I'd try to get her to Animal Crossing, the Mario Party, and Mario Kart. She actually did like Mario Kart. And actually beat me a couple times at it. Um, we were already broken up by the time the new Animal Crossing came out, so I didn't get a chance to show her. I did introduce it to my kiddo, and she loved it. Was Edward the one from um, Black Flag? Because I remember that one. That's the only one I've played. Oh. I have a couple Assassin's Creed game on the Switch. I can't remember which which ones they are. I 
were a birthday present from uh, one of my uh, viewers, actually. When I was streaming before, he got me uh, had like a it's like two it's like two Assassin's Creed's game on one cartridge. Hold that thought. I'm actually kind of curious which ones I have. <sighs> I own Black Flag, Syndicate, Unity, Valhalla, Odyssey, and Origins. So I basically four on I own. I need to get one through three eventually and play them. From what I played at <laughs> four, I it was okay. It's just I'm not into stealth gameplay. I suck at it. Same. Why I don't play Metal Gear Solid either. I love to watch other people play Metal Gear, Gear Solid. Same. But uh, I don't have. I just don't have the patience for it. <clears throat> what a thrill! <laughs> if Josias was here, he would start singing that right now. Because the other streamer we know, J Jacob, loves Metal Gear Solid. And if you ever see the the opening to Metal Gear Solid 3, it is basically a James Bond open. Because Kojima wanted to make a James Bond game, so he made a James Bond game as Metal Gear Solid. Childhood, there was a little Italian restaurant called Sweet Tomatoes. In my teens, it was a soup salad sandwich place called Loaf and Ladle. Presently, it's a Chinese-Japanese restaurant called Peppercorn House. I'm like halfway through the menu and I haven't found anything I don't like. Damn. My favorite childhood restaurant was a little local place called Manny and Jackie's. They had these pretty simple chicken fingers, but I love them so much. And like... Their portions were ridiculous. You would order a 20-piece chicken finger, they'd give you, like, 35. Ah, oh, dang, that's a lot. Yeah, so... And it was it was a good price, too. Yeah. So it's I would nice go, when you actually get, like, a bargain for your money, right? Yeah, so when I was over, it, it was it was near my dad. So when I would there on weekends, we would get like a twenty piece and like some French fries, and we would split it. <laughs> we'd get the plate, we would split the fingers up into two separate piles, we'd count it, and we'd be like, "Yep, we got like <laughs> so and so amount." My favorite restaurant growing up was Bonanza. It, they don't exist anymore. They've been, they've been out of. There may be one or two around the country, but not like they were back then. And it was a little, it was a buffet, but it wasn't like a giant buffet. And they also had like a regular menu you could order from too. Um, we would get like the salad bar and then we would order from the menu whenever we went. And the absolute best burger. Loved the, love burger. What does AR mean, Marco? Oh, is it VR? I'm not into VR. I think VR technology is still kind of beta and not that good. Yeah, I I would love to like sit down and actually try. I, my my sister has a couple of VR goggles because of course she does. The amount of disposable income my sister has. You fucker. Fuck. I've tried. I don't own goggles, but I've got friends who do and I've tried it and it's just like yeah I just kind of feel like for the last 10 years we've just been in a phase of they really don't know how to improve it yeah and I think it's going to be a long time before they do honestly because it seems to be a very slow moving technology um I know there are a couple games people say are better in VR like Tetris Effect Uh, 
Um, oh shit, what was I gonna say? Shit. I was gonna say something. Welcome to the stream. Yeah. Did you ever figure out when Backlash is? Yeah, said it's new. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. I made a little friend today. Somebody was streaming Celeste in Jess's server. They call themselves Origins, and it's another trans girl. I saw her, yeah. Yeah, like, I figured, you know, I'm not doing anything. I'll pop in here and say hi to her. We talked for, like, for like 30 minutes. She seemed really nice. <clears throat> Why is Allie and all the Autumn glowing so much? Y'all are like a celebrity? Aw, you're so sweet, eh? You're a celebrity, too. Now, Ali and I were talking earlier about, like, uh, Proton John and how much of a celebrity he's not. I'm the same way. If you see me at a yeah, convention, like... if you see me at a convention, come say hi, but... Like a lot of people see like streamers and let's players and YouTubers as like these big deals and it's like we're really not. We just play video games and talk on the internet. That's literally all we do. There's so much more talented people out there who are actually celebrities who work these crazy fucking schedules and are responsible for so much more than we are. And they're the real celebrities. We're just people who, who like to have fun and, and are just normal folk. And I, I like like people like John, who have never lost that. It's like, even if I hit, like, if I had, like, a million viewers, I would just still be me because I, I just, like, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to walk down the street and get, like, followed by a bunch of people or something. I've only interacted with John once in person. But I've mentioned before, if he does come to PAX East next year, I'll be able to do what I did this year and introduce myself and he'll actually know who the fuck I am this time. Yeah, it's, it's official. Oh, no, it's not official. Never mind. What's official? Um, well, WrestleMania, uh, the front runner for next WrestleMania next year is, is currently Las Vegas. The rumor had been Minnesota, but apparently Minnesota and WWE couldn't come to an agreement. Hi, Nautical Min- Oh, wait a minute, wrong chat. I'm sorry, Autumn. <laughs> he comes in here, too. He comes in here, too, and I saw the name. Nautical Min- And he comes in my also. chat, too. Huh? I don't think he's been in my chat yet. Where are 
Wait, this chance. Yeah, I forgot it's a Thursday, so. Jess is streaming. I forgot too. Like I said, I, I've wanted it to be Friday so bad all week, I've thought every day is Friday. Almost salvaged it. Marco, I'm quoting somebody. If Beyonce and Jenna Marbles were in a room with their fans, most everyone would go to Jenna Jenna to talk about Beyonce. If celebrities are seen as the popular clique of high school that influences the one you're intimidated to talk to. Oh, aren't intimidated to talk to. Got you. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Here's here's what if I was in a room with Beyonce and whoever that other person is, I'm honestly gonna go talk to Beyonce. I would go talk to Jenna Marbles. I don't know who that is. She was a YouTuber way back. She doesn't do content anymore. She walked away. But yeah, see, and that, that, that's I think it's just where you and I are different. I just don't get into YouTubers anymore. It was a phase of my life that I just outgrew, and we talked about this the other day. I feel like YouTube has not grown up with us. It's the no. same shit that it's always like. Like the best case example is ABGM. He is doing the exact same he was doing 20 years ago. There's been no change. He's putting out this, and 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 if anything, it's diluted now because he's run out of those meme type games. And now has to find like indie games and shit you've never heard of to make fun of. And, and it's just not the same. He is much older. <laughs> Very I don't evidently. even care about the age. The age doesn't bother me. Yeah. But like, yeah. We're older too. Yeah, remember man. that. That guy's like our generation. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when Simon's Quest came out. I found that. Like I, I saw Nerd like the original two videos. When they first came I out. The Nintendo Nerd. Yeah. I remember when he released his his first one under like all nice and edited. Mm -hmm. Which one was that? Was that I think that was Turtles. I think the first one he did officially was Turtles. Played that game a lot as a kid. All right, A, have fun. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> All right, bye. I'm going to go play Elden Ring with my sister who complains that she has no tits. That is a comment. <laughs> it is a comment. <laughs> That's okay. I also think I don't have tits, but, you know, I have a different problem. Which I don't think I took my morning medicine today because of just everything that was going on. You know, I will say this. <laughs> Since it's my stream and I can. There are nights where if I take if I take this shirt off and I'm in my tank top and I'm looking at the video, I'm like, holy shit, I have tits. And I'm like, I d but I don't, really. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have that problem. <laughs> so I would like that would drive me nuts, because you know how I am about my voice. I'm very sensitive. Um, well, I was blessed, like, because, you know, I went from boy to having, like, a D cup. You've seen the picture, so. It's on Twitter. Everybody can look at it. You can see the cleave. I could pull it up for you guys if you want me to. I don't mind. I, my pictures have been showed on Jess's stream, so if you want to pull up my Twitter, my Twitter, my, it, I mean, it's literally my profile picture, so it's not like this is some secret picture that only one person can see. Nope. And this was right. two Sundays ago, and it's probably my favorite picture of myself now, honestly. And it's the very first time since transition I've shown anything from, like, the neck down. Uh, and I was quote, it's my most popular selfie ever. It got over 200 likes. It's 
like, wow. <laughs> Jess gave me the advice of stop <clears throat> showing my face because it was starting to make me look fake. And it's like, oh, I don't want people to think I'm using an app. I mean, I do a little editing here and there, like just with lighting and stuff. Or maybe if I don't like how my hair looks, maybe I'll alter it a little to not look as bad. But my pictures are, are honestly, you know, they're, they're legit. Here's Allie. Here's Allie. That's me, guys. The lighting is a little altered in the picture because it was honestly a little darker than that, but um, that's me. With my favorite jacket on that was given to me. Look at that beauty. Look at her. She's beautiful. Aw, you're sweet. Yeah, you can see uh, I showed a little cleavage for the first time to transition. And I'm kind of proud of it. And I'm not, you know, not trying to be, and not like a conceited, like, oh, I'm so pretty, look at me, you know. It's just, I'm proud of my fucking progress. Because, <sighs> you know, for 40 years of my life, I felt like an unattractive person. I will and say. now I... I feel attractive, and I feel, you know, I have a lot more confidence now. I will say this: there are some days where, if I'm sit, if I'm over in my sink doing my dishes, and I look down, like while I'm doing my dishes, I just say, I just see tits, and I'm like, that's a different sight. <laughs> yeah. But like. If I'm just standing still, like, it doesn't pour out. And I like I don't wear push-up bras, because I'm just not, like... I, I basically wear bralettes. That's all I've been wearing since my transition. I don't wear normal bras. Yeah. I'm the... I'm the short, thick girl. I'm, I'm the body type that's popular amongst people right now, I guess. So... Yeah, I'll be doing something like being at the dishes and be like, oh, hey, boobs, hi. <laughs> oh, hey, boobs. Yeah, it's just like, oh, that's that, that kind of makes you feel good. It's like, yeah. I will say, but, uh, also. The first yeah. time in my life, I actually feel like an attractive person. And it's like, it took me 42 years, but hell yeah, you know, it's like finally, like, I get to feel good. All right, Marco. Okay, Marco, well, enjoy food. Before I continue. <clears throat> now, you know, I... The voice. Perfect. Yeah. I sit on stream, and I... And, you know, I... I really do feel this way because just I, the way I grew up, I don't have self-esteem. But there, I definitely feel a lot better than before. I did not feel attractive oh, no, as a boy. Like being bullied. I was bullied too. But I will say this too, like, I do think my transition has been working because even today, like, I got deered and honeyed and, you know, gendered right. I didn't wear makeup. I had my hair up like this. Oh, if somebody starts deering and hunting, honeying me in public like that, I'm like, you're my best friend now. <laughs> Can I buy you something? Can I get little... you like something to drink? You want a, you want a soda? And it was, a, it was this little it was this little old Indian woman at the gro at the gas station who did it, which is even better. Okay, yeah, I usually don't get that from Indian people. Nope. I've I've gotten a lot more from that group of people recently, and that honestly, out of everything, that's what gives me the most euphoria. Is if I if they're recognizing it, then I I'm doing something right. I very rarely in public get misgendered these days. I mean, yeah. you can see why. I mean, I look like a girl until I talk, and I, I, and they usually don't say anything. They just kind of look at me for a second, and then like kind of just go back to whatever. But uh, usually what they will say is like, you've got a husky voice for a girl. And it's like, yeah. I mean, and I know cis women who have husky voices. I worked with this girl named Morgan at Burger King. 
and she had a husky voice, and she worked. Um, she worked on the um, drive-through, and you know when you worked at Burger King, you know everybody wears a headset, so we'd all be listening to each other. She would get she would get misgendered a lot by people in the drive-through who hadn't seen her yet. Who thought she was a boy. And I asked her once, I said, don't that bother you? And she's like, she said, I've been getting that since I was like five years old. I'm used to it. And I'm like, oh, wow, okay. But uh, you look at her and she was like, she just looked like your normal, you know, she had long brown hair, pretty girl, wore glasses, definitely had a girl's body. You know, she was an attractive person, but um, yeah, the, she just had the husky voice, so. And honestly, that's that's one of the things. Like you know, my my voice also gives me dysphoria. Because, you know, but I I definitely have had a higher than normal male voice my whole life. Like I'm not Patrick Warburton deep kind of deal, you know. <laughs> but I've also come to terms with the same thing. It's like there are cis women who have deeper voices, and if they can go through life, you know, normally, then it doesn't bother me as much. It bothers me because those cis women don't have to deal with the other stuff that we have to deal with. Yeah. If everything else about myself is fine, then it works for me. Now, if I, if I was given the option to go get, like, vocal feminization surgery, I would totally do it. I don't want to, I don't know if I want to do the surgery, but, um, I definitely would, I'm thinking about vocal training. Because I have a, like, I have a feminine enough voice mm -hmm. where I feel like I can get there on my own. Yeah. And if I really put it on, like, I, I don't because if I do it for long periods of time, it will start to hurt. But I can turn on the feminine. I can be really feminine when I talk when I want to be. I can sound like this. All right, all right. I, I did, I did vocal training for a little bit with my doctor, but I just. Uh and I and I watch all those videos on YouTube where it's like you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to. I'm like, oh, I can't. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Oh now, brown cow. Heat from fire, fire from heat. <laughs> do you know do you know that that phrase? I do not know what you're talking about. That's one common phrase a lot of the vocal trainers will use is, is heat from fire, fire from heat. I don't know why. It just is. Probably does something with your throat. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Sorry, this is really funny. One night I was in John's chat and John's been doing a girl voice in his chat a lot lately. And it's been setting off a lot of like panic in all of like the trans people. It's like, how can you do a girl voice better than us, John? So one night he he did that. He's like he said the heat from fire, fire from heat in his girl voice and everyone was like, God damn it, John. <laughs> I swear if John ever came out as trans, there would, be, would nobody be happier. Shot. There would be nobody on the world happier than his wife. I it would know. so be all for it. God damn it, she was the one that started all that shit. I mean, he's been dreaming about girls as his conscious, like <laughs> She probably wouldn't care. It's like, and okay, I, I have a wife now. Perfect. Even better. <laughs> Oh, like his... he looks better as a girl than he does a boy. What's this Finster shit? <laughs> what we Finster's a girl now, so I guess John Proton John has taken over that mantle. What the hell? His Rosalina is hot. Yeah, it was. Talking about Proton John as a girl is making me play horribly, apparently. Yeah, what are you thinking about over there? <laughs> you 
thinking about pro proton rosy titties? God. <laughs> he has a bunch of trans mods, and like they're all like, John, we, we really would not be shocked. And he's like, I know. Well, do you remember the very first day I went into his server? Um. Hello, and inst everybody just instantly started telling me how pretty I was. <laughs> there was that one lesbian that was in there. I don't know if she was trans or cis, but she was like, Yeah, you just gave me a good reminder of why I like women. And it's like, oh, wow, okay. Thank you, I think. <laughs> like, I... It's one thing when you get a compliment from a boy, but when you get one from a girl, it's like, oh, oh. I really am pretty. When I'm getting the compliments from the from 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 the inner circle here. His his community is amazing, just in general. Like I love being in mm -hmm. there. I need to get back in. I need to renew my set and get back in there. Might do that tomorrow. <clears throat> oh yeah, I still owe you a gift sub, by the way. I did not forget. Oh, I thought that, I forgot about that. No rush on that, by the way. Just whenever you want. I know things are hard right now, so I'm not in a rush for you to honor it. I will, eventually. I owe so many people money right now, it's not even funny as well. Yeah, Mickey, Mickey did me a favor. She bought me a year of me six, and just I have to pay her back, so. I bought you a what? Oh, me six. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's, I have that. I used yeah. that in my Discord. I got it whenever she was doing all that stuff for me. Because my, my, my Discord's like yours now. I've always had it. I've just had it since the beginning. Yeah, me six. Totally worth it. Yeah. For everyone wondering, that's what how we set up the Discord server with everything. I styrofoam. Weirdly horniest conversation I've heard from y'all. What, talking about a cis man p possibly being a trans woman? Or was it the part where the girl, the, the female was making me blush in John's Discord? Or K no los dos. Oh, you bitch. What I do? Oh, you, not you. I'm a good girl. All of it. <laughs> oh, styrofoam. <laughs> I tell you the thing that made me blush the most uh, post transition is I have a guy friend. We're not like boyfriend and girlfriend, but you know, we do stuff. He comes over now and then, whatever. And um, one day uh, he's sitting over on my couch and I'm sitting in my chair. I got the TV on. And. Um, He told me to uh, put my hands up in the air. I thought he was like, you know, just kind of like doing a silly thing, like a bit. So I did, and he just, okay, he can, like waited like a minute and was like, okay, we put him down. And I'm like, what was that for? And he was like, he was just like I wanted a good view. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I turned. He said, I, my face went the reddest I've ever, he's ever seen, and it's like. Holy shit. It's like, it, it, it's like... God damn. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, I, I'm not used to being attractive. It's weird for me. It's so fucking weird. Like, he'll do stuff like that. Like, little, like, cute things that make me blush. And I'll be like, what? No. No, I'm not. 
You are, stop! And it's like, I just, I, I'm not used to it. I don't know if I'm ever going to be used to it. You know, you go 40 years of being one thing, and then, like, damn. And, and the thing is, like, I have had a great transition, and I've seen even better than me. Like, I have friends that, like, put me to shame. I'll tell you what, now I don't like this person as a human being. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner is an awful fucking person. Her transition was amazing. I will give her props on her transition. Because she was pretty much just, as Bruce Jenner, it's like, okay, guy, whatever. But uh, she looks good as a girl. It's a lousy piece of shit nowadays. Jess, you know, I've seen her before and afters. That's an amazing. And she started around the same time I did, too, so. You know, we often, like, talk about the last two years of our lives and kind of identify with one another in, in a lot of ways. I'm also in that same boat. Yeah, and I look at you. Yeah, you know, we've all seen your before pictures, and it's definitely... You have transitioned well. Even if you don't feel like it, I think you have. I just need to find style, but I don't have any friends. Yeah, you need, like, cis women friends who can, like, help teach you makeup. Get in call with Jess. She could probably teach you stuff. She's so good at that stuff. You make uh get you need to get you just get you some cute outfits. That'll come with when you get a job. I think. I need when to you lose get a job, weight. A little money. Yeah, losing weight will definitely help. I'm working on that too. After I sit here and scarf down a large fry, a McChicken, and a McFlurry. <laughs> I just had two coffee cake muffins for crying out loud. That sounds good. You motherfucker! Stop sending me these stupid videos. Oh yeah, uh, WWE signed Eric Rowan. Yep. That's all and in news that in news that was not news to anyone who been paying attention the last two weeks. <laughs> <clears throat> I would not be shocked if, um, and I, I saw this on a TikTok. I would not be shocked if something happens at Backlash. Possible. Because the last time Bray Wyatt came back was at a pay per view. Did you see my post today about the Rockers? I just saw that, yeah. <laughs> that was on Twitter. Looking up your picture, your beautiful picture. Oh, I love that picture. Yeah, I'll definitely take more. I have one in my back pocket. It, <clears throat> it's a bit more revealing, and I'm a little nervous, but I will eventually post it. It shows more booba. <sighs> I'm just, I, like I said, I'm not used to this, and I gotta take it a little bit at a time. Oh yeah, gradual baby baby steps, like in uh, what's that movie? Um, what about Bob? You ever seen that movie? I've only heard of it. Oh, funny movie, Bill Murray. Oh, I can't do that. They're, they're doing. She's doing the Gen Z heart thing. I can't do it. It hurts my hand. 
sister had a date, so you're the only one playing Elden Ring. Oh no! Stood up by the sister. Hey, look at this Magic Koopa. They didn't even. Well, there's the arms. Okay, they're wearing a cape. Right What's this one's name? Did it say? Know. No. It doesn't look like Kamek. I don't recall Kamek having like that over cape thing. How am I already on an ad break? What? God damn it, Twitch. Why don't you ever tell me these? I can't do my gerb. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna go pee. Oh, no, I even refreshed and it didn't show me. Well, I'm still here. <laughs> I hope all of you are having fun today. Styrofoam, A. I had misadventures with McDonald's screwing things up today. That's my big daily story. I ordered food through DoorDash. And after I ordered, I realized I didn't put a drink on there and I wanted a drink. So I added a Coke. They had one person deliver me the Coke, and the other person deliver me the rest of the order. And I got here around the same time. So I open up my bag, and everything's there except my fries. I got a fry, a large fry, a McChicken, and a couple apple pies. So, um, I had to reorder my fries. And I had to add something to it because there was a minimum or they would charge you extra on delivery fees. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll just add a McFlurry and, you know, whatever. Ice cream is always fun, right? So while I'm doing that, I'm trying to get them to refund me the fry they didn't give. So they... Gave me the runaround on that. The app was, or the the website was acting funny and wouldn't give me the submit button. So I ended up having to go into a chat. And originally they were only going to refund me for the price of a small fry. I got a large fry. So I had to tell them, no, I paid $4 and some change for a large fry. I would like to be refunded for that. Because I had to reorder this food. And they, they acted like they didn't want to do it, but eventually they did refund me for that, that large fry. But that was annoying. You, three people, between three DoorDash drivers, and it's not the driver's fault. Between three bags handed out of McDonald's, they couldn't put my fry in two of them. That's kind of sad. And it was like the main reason I ordered. I was just wanting a chicken and a fry, you know. God damn it, McDonald's. Oh, shit, wrong <laughs> I was very frustrated. I actually got really mad at one point because from one end, I'm dealing with their, with DoorDash's shitty customer service. And then on the other end, I'm trying to get a hold of the Dasher to tell him, hey, they didn't bring me a straw. Can you bring me a straw only for them to hang up on me? And I didn't even get my straw. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. if you're going to the fries, like the main course, it's their best item. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Oh, nothing. Yeah, it's like three bad things happening at once, and I kind of freaked out and get, like kind of went into an anxiety attack because I've got like three different things going wrong at once, and I had to leave my call with Autumn and Marco for like three minutes so I could calm down. I actually felt bad because y'all heard, heard me yell and I don't like for people to hear me yell. And it actually hurt my throat.
was like, it was just, it, it wouldn't have been bad if like one thing was going wrong, but it was like multiple things at once right at me. It's like, I just want my fry. The hardest bit of fry. <laughs> Such a simple little thing. It's like my other food was getting cold and I'm upset. It's like, hey Camry, how are you? I'm talking about my crazy McDonald's story today. I hope you're having a good day. Your team did good today, Fantasy. You got a big good start from your, who was that, Evaldi, I think? Oh, you bitch. Yeah, there's a lot of times I'll go out and get just fries. Yeah, just get you a little fry and enjoy it. Yesterday, I I, um, I went to a, a pizza place that I had a free pizza. I got a pizza, my free pizza, and then I got an order of fries from them. They just wanted some fries. Fries are always good. I love fries. Hey, uh, Camry, I don't know if you saw the announcement or not. It's official. Saturday at 3 p.m. I'm going to be showing Star Wars The Phantom Menace in Discord. We're going to do our May, big May the 4th thing. And anybody else in here, if y'all are in my Discord, feel free to hop on in. I think pretty much everybody here is, so. It'll depend. I mean, this weekend's going to be... It's going to be up in the air, depending on just because, like... I'm, I'm, I had to take today off. I might have to take tomorrow off. So I might have to work all weekend. So You work all weekend anyway. I mean, like, late. If it's busy. Yeah, just like... Odd threads. I haven't been on threads in months. I don't use it. It's not terrible, but it's a lot of, like, it's just a bunch of trans people bitching about Twitter. <laughs> That's all it is. And really, really thirst trap selfies from a bunch of really gorgeous trans women. There's a lot of that, which I don't mind that. I mean, I do that, too. But, uh, it's just that and everybody complaining how bad Twitter is. I don't think Twitter is as bad as everybody says it is. I don't see the difference outside of just a couple small things of pre-Musk Twitter and now Twitter. I don't see the difference. But Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> to me, I'm interacting with the same people. I'm seeing the same content. And I like paying the $7 a month because I can make longer tweets. I don't have a limit. I get the cute little check mark that shows everybody I'm who I say I am. I'm verified. If there's ever any proof, because, you know, people will see pretty trans girls like, oh, you use filters or you're using fake pics or someone else is like, nope, I'm verified, bitches. That means I showed them my ID. Mm hmm. And my ID was created last August. So y'all can't say shit about me being fake because I got government proof that says I'm real. <laughs> you lost your souls. <laughs> that's, why, that's why you eat them. Must devour. I got the Sephiroth music going through my head. Most specifically, the part that goes dip, 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 that part. Seven. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back through the levels and try to find uh, the toads that we're missing. Loading toads. And we don't have to go to Labia Woods or Plains or whatever it was. Labia, Labia Woods? What? Marco last <laughs> night was like, I know it's la -dee da but it looks like Labia because we were talking about vibrators. 
I was telling Jess about this game, and I told her about the Vibe Scepter, and she could not stop laughing. She thought it was the funniest thing ever, and I'm like, it really is. It's like, she has a Vibe Scepter, and she has the question mark, question mark, question mark in RPG. It's like, hey, continuity! Yeah, if it was a, if it was a rating system, a vibrating system, it would be a vibrator. <laughs> I like this game, but I kind of do see what people talk about when they say the game is sexist. I do see it. I just don't care Yeah. enough to get said about it. But yeah, it's like, they had all these Mario games and they could have made emotions the theme of any of the games with the men. They chose to do it with the female character. And that is a little sus. It is. I get it. But I just don't care. It's a cute game. It's meant for little girls. Yes. I think I would. It's like the same it's just like for the same crowd that's meant for Disney princesses. AKA my 42 year old ass. <laughs> I want to like... get little statues of every Disney princess and put it on a display. I think that would be cool. Oh god. That's itchy. Oh, that feels good. Here, um, here's a good question for chat. What is everyone's favorite Disney princess? Mine is Ariel. I love mermaids and I love Ariel and she's adorable and she sings really good. And Eric, Prince, Prince, and well, he's not a prince, but Eric is so handsome, and they're cute. They're a beautiful couple. Are you sure it's Autumn? That is a good question. I'm trying to think. Cause I really have never, never thought of it. Mm -hmm. Ariel's probably up there for me as well. <clears throat> I don't know like what counts as a Disney princess these days anymore. What? Like does a Moana count as a Disney princess or no? No, she's not a princess. She is royalty on her island. Do they call her a princess? Not by name. She's not a princess. I myself am a princess. There's a strict code. I didn't write it, but I have to follow it. It's rules. is this pipe what about you chat who is your all's favorite disney princess oh fuck it it's probably it's probably ariel Who the hell is that? Yeah, I'm not familiar with that one either. Maradon. 
Oh, oh Merida. Merida. Uh, Merida. Uh, Merida. Who? From Brave. Is, is she a princess? She is. I've not watched that movie. I have it, but I've not watched it. Actually, I'm going to. I am going to change my answer. I'm also going to agree with Merida. <laughs> I need to watch that movie. Yes, you do. That is a great movie. Merida is a badass Scottish chick. I don't like action-y princesses. So that's kind of off-putting to me already. Still a good movie. I'm so glad that, like, people like her. I remember, like, because I hate, I hate posting, like, like, Ah, oh, you bitch. Rapunzel? I don't think she's a princess either. <clears throat> she is. It's been a long time since I've watched that movie. She is a princess. I think I was seven years old the last time I watched it, so I don't remember. She is a princess? Yeah. She gets kidnapped okay. at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, it's been it, that one. Oh, the Tangled. I still I haven't watched Tangled either. And it's another one I need to put on the list of watch. I'm so behind on movies. I need to like have a like a month where I just binge watch every movie that I need to watch. Well, hopefully we start doing that with the uh, community nights. Yeah, and I'm, I'm starting to do stuff in mine too, so that'll help too. Uh. I feel like this toad is in this pipe, and I just don't know how to get to that pipe. What's the point of going up there? You know, I was gonna say Frozen because I've seen it so many fucking times, but I actually don't like Anna or Elsa. I don't like Anna. I don't like Elsa very much. I feel like she's just too abrasive. Last wish. Oh. Are you talking about the Puss in Boots movie that we watched in, ch in uh, Discord? I like that. That was really good. Super cute. We were talking afterwards. I was like, we're going to get Styrofoam into one of these calls at some day. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I had a I had I had a blast watching that with y'all. Especially Josias. Josias was having a blast, I could tell. He was. He liked uh, being Mr. Interpreter. He was taking he was having a lot of fun with that. There were definitely some little bit of the Spanish I understood because, you know, it's it was Same conversational Spanish, but there was definitely some in there. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That was, yeah, it was really cool that he did that. Woo! 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 What is the point of this fucking room?
That bird, the one that's walking around, those originated from Yoshi's Island. They're little ravens. There They're also one. in Paper Mario. Yes. Raphael. Well, he was the big one. Yeah. I don't remember what the little ones are called. I think they just call ravens. I think they're just ravens. Oh, you're welcome. Glad, glad to answer the question. Which, I mean, this game gives, I mean, someone said Yoshi's story, story earlier, it gives Yoshi Island vibes too, so. Paul Kogan posted a picture of himself on a beach with uh, his uh, current wife and like a bunch of other people. Oh god, this comment on him. Dude is so dark he's not allowed to date his own daughter. Oh my god. Now I'm thinking about that one butt you can kill before starting it, and butt neck butt goes, and then leaves. That's a lot of butt. Noted, n noted Mario villain, butt mech. Butt mech. Also, hi Epic Kitty, how are you? How are you, Epic Kitty? I, hope you, I love that name. Every time I hear it, I smile because it's cute. Ah. One day I will play a Souls like game. Only oh, no. three butt. Is Jedi Fall, um, Fallen Order technically a Souls like game? It's well, how I've heard people describe it. I know it's not exactly easy. I, I know that much. A relatively small amount of butt. <laughs> So for those who don't know, you can actually change the word buttspot says instead of butt. I just have no really? idea what I would change it to. I wouldn't change it. That's like trying to reinvent the wheel. Mm -mm. Nothing's funnier than butts. I, mean, I can change it to boobs. Meh, still not as funny. True. Muffin. I saw someone. That's cute. Muffin. Bluffin with my muffin. Speaking of Lady Gaga. <laughs> oh. The song that she got away with posting on the radio. Right. I mean, fuck. There's been a lot of songs over the years that have been about private parts, so no surprise, to be honest. No, she said the word fuck and everyone didn't censor it. Oh. When the chorus, it's like, poke, 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 poke her face. She's saying, fu, fu, fuck her face the second time. I'm just surprised at the amount of people who don't know what that song's about. It's not just some catchy tune, everybody. <laughs> Remind me what it is, because I have I have heard what it's about. I just don't. It's literally it. about sucking dick and getting your fucking face back. Hot. Thank 
Because of course it is. I mean, men have been doing songs like that for fucking years and nobody blinks an eye. I mean, we literally, like, hear Steven Tyler talking about getting ahead in one of his songs. Walk this way. I did not know that. <laughs> he literally says, getting some head. Uh, the Nickelback song. Animals. It's very possible, though, you've only heard the, um, the radio version of the song. I don't think they, I think they edited <clears throat> it out. Probably. Yeah, the Nickelback song Animals is legitimately him getting a blowjob while he's driving. Never heard it. I don't listen to Nickelback, so. I listen to music that, that's good. Nickelback sucks. I've never been a fan. I have not, but I've seen so many people play it. <laughs> that but butt, Buttsbot is all over you, Epic Kitty. What? Getting a blowjob while driving? I've done that. I I'm, have... not even, I, I'm not even joking. I've literally, I've, I've literally done that before. No, I, 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 it's, it's as safe as you make it. <laughs> I've, uh, I've done the equivalent to a girl while she was driving. But it was with my fingers. Let's say that. And she was driving stick shift, which is even more funnier. <laughs> she sure was. My stepdad said he'll replace the part Saturday, so I'll talk to my mom about taking her car on Saturday. It's kind of funny how we went from talking about blowjobs and cars to you talking about taking your mom's car. <laughs> Mom, I need to well, borrow the car. <laughs> amazing segue. That's true. That's probably that's most likely true. I mean, a lot of music is sex and and physicality driven. And no, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, honestly. Sex, drugs, and rock it's and roll. I mean, it's an outlet. Sex can be an outlet, too. Why can't they combine? I smell sex and candy. Ah, uh, yes. The early 90s. <laughs> oh, I already did this one. <laughs> I mean, the song No Diggity by Blackstreet. Yeah. I mean, my ex-wife loved R&B music. She called it baby-making music. There is a reason Yeah, that's for that. literally what it is. I'm a sucker for R&B. R&B definitely works on me in that way. Always has. This, it's very sensual, very, very, very sexual. There are boots chasing me. Never mind.
That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm a big video game music fan myself. I'm kind of nerdy about it, too. Glad I did that. I think it's this one. Nope. I mean, I listen to a lot of video game music as well. I mean, the, the stream opening songs are video game music. Partly because I'm not allowed to play regular music. Oh, you can. There's ways around it. You've told me before. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, I like real game them game music. DDR had some really good music back in the day. Didn't DDR just use real music? Like, actual songs? Yeah, but um, it also... Um, a lot of songs that oh. were like, really released in, in America. It's not from America, folks. That means it's not official. It's the second day in a row somebody's kind of accidentally said that. <laughs> well, I'm saying, like, we wouldn't have heard it initially over here until DDR. Like I said, if it's not in America, it don't matter. We're the only country. <laughs> Japan? Nah, that's that thing they made up for anime. You know that? Oh my god. <laughs> Australia? You mean that made up country they put in that movie Crocodile Dundee back in the day? <sighs> that's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> I used to love that movie when I was a kid. And I like two also. I've never seen the third one. I heard it kind of sucked. At some point I might watch it though. I never watched The Karate Kid until like, uh... When did my kid do? Oh, tw uh, 2016. Yeah, I love The Karate Kid. Uh, the second one's my favorite one. They're all pretty good. I rather enjoyed them. What's the best country song? I grew up on country music. I'm not a huge country fan. There are some songs I don't mind, but country's not I the like first. I 80s, 80s and 90s country. I don't like modern country. I don't like it at all. It's become so homogenized. It's just... It's kind of become like a, almost a parody of itself, really, if anything. It's like... We create country songs that, in the way that people think country is, and not actually make country songs, if that makes any sense. Like, I grew up Garth, I loved Garth. One of my all-time favorites. Um, Alan Jackson, Brooks and Dunn, Reba, uh, Trisha Yearwood, George Strait, uh, 
Clint Black. I like Clint Black a lot. He was pretty good. So what's what's this song? Yeah, you can. Oh, do song request. Okay. Um, I like the Alabama. Mark Chestnut. Is the song Honky Tonk or Donkey Donk? No, I don't. I don't like that song. Um, it's it, to me that's parody country, not real country. Um, I like some of Travis Tritt. Oh, yeah, I don't know that song. If it's after the year 2000, I don't know it. I, I came to a point with pop music, country. I just, outside of certain artists, I kind of stopped listening because it all just started to sound the same to me. Maybe music is the one thing I'm boomer about. But it's just like I listen to modern music and it just, I can't tell the difference between one thing and another. And when something good does come along, it's like a big deal to me because there's not a lot. Oh my god! Black of two being a dick. Yeah, first death. That's your first death? Wow. You got far. This is quite the song, not gonna lie. If only I could hear it. Ah. You're gonna have to listen to this later. Yeah, I wish I could hear it. It's the only bad thing about being in call. I don't I don't hear none of the sounds y'all make. If y'all play if, if, if play music or whatever, I, I don't get to hear any of it. I kinda miss being able to hear things to be honest. I wanna I wanna figure out how to do it. There is a way to do it, I just don't know how to do it. Ask somebody. The only person I could ask is John. Ask him! Just do it after Coliseum. <laughs> yeah, right? right <laughs> he'll, he'll probably answer. Like we were talking about that earlier. He'll definitely answer you at some point. Might take him a little bit. Yeah, because he has a COCOM feed that they can all hear all the sounds. Because they talk about hearing this, the alerts going off. When I talk about the parody, a type of parody I don't like, maybe parody isn't the word that I'm supposed to be using. I don't like, like, country music has basically become 
take the word parody away. I, I think I just used the wrong word. It's become more of a caricature of itself. It's like country music is basically become what people stereotype it as. Yeah, I can see that. And, and, and instead of just being like original and, and good, it's just yeah, it's it's just not good at all. It just and it all sounds the same. I go out to my tractor to drink a beer. That kind of stereotyping. I don't hear a lot of that. That's the uh, that's the other stereotype. I made love with my tractor. <laughs> There's a song called "I Think My Tractor's Sexy." There is. Or she, thinks, actually... or she, she thinks my tractor's sexy. I forget who sung that. I would listen to a song that said that was "I Think My Tractor's Sexy." <laughs> She thinks my tractor sexy. No, I'd say I'd, I would listen to one that's. I think my tractor sexy. Kenny Chesney. Kenny Chesney was the one who sang that song. She thinks my tractor sexy. No, because I don't listen to modern music and I don't know <sighs> the names of songs. I could not give you the names of the songs or I'll just. I don't, because I don't make it a point to remember stuff that I have no interest in, in putting into my playlist. It's like you go back to 90s country, right? You got Garth. He sounds nothing like Clint Black. Clint Black, Clint Black. Clint Black sounds nothing like Travis Tritt. Travis Tritt sounds nothing like Reba McIntyre. Reba McIntyre sounds nothing like Trisha Yearwood. Trisha Yearwood sounds nothing like Winona Judd. Winona Judd sounds nothing like Alabama. Alabama sounds nothing like Brooks and Dunn. They all have a unique sound, unique style, different ways of going about their music, and I don't see that anymore. And it's not just country music that has that problem. It's just modern music in a nutshell, I believe. Everything's done with um, auto tune. I hate auto tune. I wish it was never invented. If an artist starts using auto tune, I auto tune out. But um. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. That was stupid. I was listening I to it. I think if your, voice, if your voice isn't good enough to where you need a machine to alter it, um, you're not good enough to be a singer in my opinion. <clears throat> I was um, I was on TikTok while I was out driving today, and one of the ones was someone was doing a um, a really damn good impression of Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, respect it all. Um, but he had written a joke in the style of Roddy Dangerfield, and I thought it was a really damn good joke. And it was, I hear gender is fluid nowadays. That's why I'm in love with a puddle. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> It's a dad joke for sure, but I like it. No respect. No it. respect. Rodney Dangerfield was great. Remember the Rover Dangerfield? Remember that? Yes. Oh, man. Like, anytime he went on Carson, he would have Carson dying the entire time. Yeah. I love watching clips of Rodney on Carson, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's can... very overused. Yeah, they 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 ran that thing into the ground. I came to win. Well, it was like the '80s, like the synthesizer when it first came out. Different, unique, definitely stood out. But by the end of the '80s, everybody was fucking sick of it. And now it's made a comeback. Cycles. 
It has, like, literally synthesizer and that type of music has its own, like, type. It's called Synthwave, and it's awesome. I love Synthwave. Anybody ever checked out The Midnight? They're an awesome fucking band. <coughs> love that 80s sound. That it will definitely appeal to your ears. It'll get right into your ear holes. God damn it. Oh, what that Nightwing Funko Pop. Looks cool. Todd? <laughs> We're finishing this tonight, aren't we? It's... All signs are pointing towards that, yes. What's after this? Link's Awakening. <gasps> really? Which version? The remake. I love that fucking version of the song. It's so cute. Just randomly ran into an AI picture of Gandalf eating onion rings. <laughs> hmm. He's kind of holding one up. It's like I have the one ring. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> One ring to bind us. I figured you would like to go on an adventure. You shall not pass. I love those movies so much. And yes, I even like the Hobbit movies. I know people criticize them, but I'm like, no, these are great. I thought the Hobbit movies were good. Yeah, I mean, they're not as good as Lord of the Rings. I mean,. It's hard to beat fucking movies that won, like, jillion Academy Awards. But, yeah, I like them. I like all six of those movies. Peter Jackson is awesome. So well cast. And what I like about it is he filmed all three of those movies to avoid anybody being like, Yeah, I'm a big deal now. Pay me. You know? Because uh, everybody that he got for those movies were relatively unknown. Nobody knew, like in 1990, like I think they started filming in 98, 97. Nobody knew who the fuck Orlando Bloom was. Viggo Mortensen, who? Yeah, I think yeah, all of these people were, you know, the only, outside of like maybe like, um, he's the dude from The Matrix, he played Elrond. Uh, Hugo Weaving. Yeah, I said it like people like him. Liv Tyler was kind of a big deal because of Elijah. who her daddy was. Elijah Wood and Sean Astin were. No, I wouldn't say they were big deals at all. One of them was a child actor who hadn't worked in a long time, and the other one was Elijah Wood. <laughs> That's a good joke. I'm patting myself on the back for that one. 
Let me talk about Elijah nah, Wood. Was, Elijah Wood was in Back to the Future. Come on now. For three seconds. <laughs> yes, yeah, Back to the Future, that Elijah Wood movie. <laughs> Fuck Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, and Crispin Glover, and everybody well, else in them. Well, fuck Crispin Glover, just in general. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of a dick. Uh, you know, if we would have got an 80s or like early 90s Spider-Man movie, Michael J. Fox totally would have been Spider-Man. 100%. <clears throat> well, I don't think anybody else around at the time could have been. Well, considering they they think Tom Holland could play Marty McFly in a reboot of Back to the Future, yeah, I could see it. Have you ever heard of anyone disliking The Lord of the Rings? Yes. It's not for everybody. They're very long movies. Uh, some people don't like that. And some people are just not into the whole sword shield thing. But most people, I would say like 90% of people that I know, think those movies are fantastic. I didn't watch them until 2014. I got on in between the second and third one. I remember My in time got me into it. Um, we, we sat and watched Fellowship and Two Towers. And I'm like, oh my god, these are fucking masterpieces. How did I, how did these get past me? I remember my friend Joey being like, yeah, they're fucking amazing, right? And, like, and then I went and saw the third one in theaters. I remember in high school, uh, one of the people I was working with on newspaper really loved Lord of the Rings and was super excited when those came out. I read The Hobbit when I was a kid. I did not. I did not read any of them when I grew up. Well, was it was, well, it was required. <clears throat> it was not it was in high schools. Oh, oh. Oh, no, we were. A bit like grade, I, I would have to venture, I guess. No, we were reading like where the red fern grows in like Animal Farm. Yeah, I remember the red fern. I remember that one. Uh, didn't read Animal Farm. Saw the movie though. That was pretty good. I'm about to die again. I liked required reading because I'm I, I was always a reader, so I liked it. There were some books I could do without. I like doing book reports and stuff like that. Um, when I was in high school. I did uh, a book report on Giant Baba from Japan. I had found through Wrestling Friends uh, a biography that was written about him. And I did a book report on him. Uh, I once did uh, a biography book report on Chuck Yeager, the man who broke the sound barrier. He's from West Virginia. I think I did a biography book report on Jim Carrey, actually, once, if I'm not mistaken. That'd be a fun one. Don't know if he had any biography from when I was a kid, now. Um, so when get... I was a kid, he was the one in living color. You'll get a kick out of this one. I was in um, my first stint in college, I think it was, technically. Um... I did a World War II class, and uh, we had to do a topic for around that time. And my topic was baseball during the war. Yeah, a lot of baseball players um, put their careers on hold, went and fought. Ted Williams is probably the most notable out of that group. Yep. I think DiMaggio was in that group. Uh, he sure was. But it wasn't just that. It was also... Um, uh, I did the Negro Leagues and the um, Women League. 
that sprouted. Yep, yep. A lot of yeah, lots of leaks popped up because a lot of the big stars were Stan Musial was overseas. Um, yeah, a lot of the big stars and and, and attendance was dipping in, in, in the major leagues, so a lot of owners would uh, start up new leagues with a gimmick like a women's league or a Negro league or something along that. And of course, a lot of people know the movie A League of Their Own is based on a true story. It is. And there's a Netflix series that I need to watch. Me too. Yes, A League of Their Own is actually based on true events. It is not just a movie. It a Loosely. All, yes. It is based on true events, but yeah, no, the, the <laughs> women in the movie were not real pitchers and players, if I'm not mistaken. No, they were literally housewives and, you know, basically they were women looking away to make some money while their husbands were fighting in a war. And made them wear skirts. Yeah, made them wear short skirts. You know, they always had to wear makeup. They could not see men. And that didn't stop a lot of them, even if they were married. Uh, there was, you know, unfortunately, that's like one of the sad things about, like, guys that go overseas. They get cheated on a lot. That happens to this day. And I'll never respect a woman that does that. Or man, for that matter. If their wife or boyfriend or whatever goes overseas. Um, just, yeah, they get cheated on a lot, soldiers. It's unfair. And a lot of times, those League of Their Own women were cheating on their husbands with each other. Because they didn't have nobody else to turn to because they were scared to go get men. Because they would be punished, they'd be kicked off the team, and then they'd lose their income. And there were some of them that were literally taking their kids on the road with them. Yep. That happened in the movie, too. Yeah. They would take their kids on the road and basically uh, didn't have a lot of rights. It was, it, there's a, there's a, there, yeah. I, I've, I've read a lot about the women's baseball league. And then in the Negro Leagues... Oh, there's nightmare stories there. Some of the greatest baseball players that ever played played in the Negro Leagues and never get the recognition for it because all their stats are in another league that doesn't exist anymore. Or was hidden away to protect the, the white players that was the biggest star. Look up Buck O'Neill. My favorite team has the unfortunate distinction of being the last team in the major leagues to allow a black player on their team. Who was that player? Do you remember? I don't. All I know is Yaki was a fucking racist asshole. Oh, he was he was a lot of bad things. <laughs> Pretty sure they finally got rid of his name on around Fenway recently. Oh, did they? Yeah, the the street that was um, where Fenway was used to be called Yaki Way, and I don't think it's called Yaki Way anymore. Did they get rid of all the uh, white racist fans in the outfield bleachers yet? I don't know about that. Well, I mean. I remember Garrett Anderson, who was an all-star player for the Angels for many years. Um, he often talked about, you know, because he was on some bad Angels teams for many years. And he said in an interview once, yeah, I, I wouldn't have mind, you know, being offered a trade. 
but I would never go play for Boston because of all the racist fans in the outfield. Also, ad break. Also, ad break. Shit. I'm just going to play through this one. Whatever. We're just replaying levels that I did already. Actually, while we're up, while, while it's on break. Curious. Oh, look, Ooh. an alley. Me? Where? I opened up my uh, browser and it was just the picture that I showed earlier. Uh, they renamed oh. it to Jersey Street. Water and water and water, water, 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 water and water and water and water, water. I know there's a street near the stadium that's called David Ortiz Way as well. What? No Manny Ramirez drive? <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> I like Manny. Manny was funny. He he had some funny moments. Like when he would come out of the left, field, the left field wall. Like he would go in the left field wall during uh, the breaks and I think he was taking a whiz. <laughs> um... Oh, the Braves made a trade. Acquired right-handed pitcher Jimmy Hergert Hergert from the Los Angeles Angels and, and consider in exchange for cash considerations. Oh, huh. uh, the move, but oh, something. Wait for the Rangers, the Angels, and the yeah, the Rangers, the Reds, Rangers, and Angels. Did a couple good seasons. Yeah, definitely a depth move, but hey, there's never anything wrong with depth. You okay? Yeah, I'm just doing something. Hold on. Okay, while you do that, I'm going to go switch devices. I'll be back okay. in a minute. Thank you. 
that's the problem. I could I could stream my screen to Allie, but we had the same problem last night where um she would hear me and everything. So what I'm seeing here is um, John has a custom co-com stream. I'm back. Hi. Sorry. I was I actually was looking in John's server. Apparently his cocom feed is a custom thing for his channel. Someone sets up for him. Oh, well shit. I would still ask around. Marco was having issues posting pictures, so I was checking something. Oh. We gotta help our buddy. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Um, where did it go? There it is. That was peachy. Peachy. I'm missing two. Fuck you. Speaking of speaking of peachies. Like, is she in chat right now? Oh, she just randomly shouted her out. 
Yeah. When you said it just now, I actually looked over to see if she was here. I love her to death. She's so she's such a she's such a sweetheart. I love her. Her screams are fun. I hope she does come to a PAX next year and get to meet her. Me too. I would love to meet her. I would be that would make me so happy. Get like a group picture with me, you, her, Jess, Mickey, and a bunch of other Twitch people I love. I'm probably gonna end up meeting Mickey before all of you guys. Oh really? Mm -hmm. When? August. For what? She's gonna come back and visit. Oh yeah, well she's got family up there, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, that'll be so cool. She's like, I'm probably gonna take you to a Red Sox game. I'm like, I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> Oh, that'll be great! Yay! What the fuck? Uh, Jess, have you played those games? She said Link never swims in Breath of the Swims and Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. Um, there's a whole water area, Jess. I think you're forgetting. He literally uh, does swim. Even I knew that. I think she's definitely misremembering. Is she on some of the wacky tabacky? She does smoke a lot of weed. I told her, I said, between you and Camry, I don't know who my favorite stunner is. Oh, god damn it. I would probably be one too, but I don't want to be one because um, spending all that money on fucking munchies. I, I snack too much now. I'd probably be like 400 pounds if I fucking smoked weed. Just told me she finally feels good about her streams again. Good. I feel like she's gotten back to being like her again and not being stuck up her ex's ass. I'm also glad that she acknowledges that. Because we were trying to tell her. Well. When you're in the middle of it, you don't want to believe it. I think we've all been there. Love blinds, yeah. you know? Yeah. Let's just say I wouldn't have a child if I listened to the people about my ex. I think the exact same story here, honey. I'm with you. I would absolutely not have, a, you know, he's a grown adult now. And 
he's out in the world doing his own thing now, and it's like I'm proud of him because you know he all, he's a good he's a good he's a good man. He's become a really good man, and I'm glad he didn't take any of her fucking characteristics. Doesn't have he definitely doesn't have that awful fucking temper. I couldn't handle it. it, it my anxiety. Ugh, I, I constantly live in anxiety around that girl. She was not fit to be a parent. Yeah, my baby mama wasn't either. Is it the 23rd yet? So I did put I did put the peach game in, into my budget. So I did budget for it. So okay, hopefully I'll be able to buy it. <laughs> that was just a toad. <sighs> Not doing too bad on these replay through replay through replays of these levels, finding everything. Yeah, you're doing really good. I fucking knew that was going to happen. Ah. <laughs> Luckily, you you were able to save it. Luckily, I had enough vibrator. You. <laughs> what? It? I'll tease you all I want, Todd. All right, all Todd's. And now it's time for Good level job, eight. Adam. Time to go kick Bowser's ass. I just got boned. Hot. I like that giant flop in the background. What happens when he sees you? That. Oh, he eats you. Didn't know Flump's eight people. That's a new one on me. Yeah, 
Yep, I do have one. You have what? An emote of a thwomp. Oh, that's right, that thing is a thwomp. There's a Mario Maker. Oh. I don't exist. <laughs> Fuck you, Thomp. Oh, oh ow. shit. Foot cramped up on me. Oh, that's not fun. Todd found a Todd. I heard that. You heard what? A Discord call call um Someone coming to this Yeah, I, I heard it too. So, see, it's not just me. Discord is haunted. That's weird. Did you say Pingus? <laughs> yeah. Pingus! <laughs> Snooping as usual, are we? <laughs> Booze. Just, Booze. Win the Just win the race. Just win the race. Chewbacca! He's cute. It's gonna be me. Oh, I like the chewy. I love that. <laughs> Action has chewy. I wonder what for. It's gonna be me. It is a global alert. I won. Oh, Hell we all yeah. get it? Hell yeah. <laughs> is that the only one so far? Gassy. Now he's happy now. Damn it. Thank you. 
Swamp. <laughs> I showed it to Jess on her stream and she she did a chewy noise. <laughs> she does really cool stuff with her voice that I wish I could do. so cute. I love Chewy. Uh, yeah, you do it good too. I can't do that. I can't do that roll the tongue thing. I've never been able to do that. Which is funny. Sometimes I'll I... do it by accident and not know how I do it. Which is funny because I can't roll my R's in like Spanish. I can't at all. I wish I could. Like I'm, I'm jealous of people who can do that. <clears throat> but I just, I've always loved doing voices, so I've always, like, tried to do as many voices as I can. <laughs> like Cleveland. That's how I do the Chewy. <laughs> huh? Like Cleveland. Oh, Pyeter. <laughs> That's, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> the, the person last night who made me do, um, Doofenshmirtz. I don't know who that is. It's from Phineas and Ferb. I've only seen like a couple episodes of that. From what I saw, I thought it was pretty good. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, there's a um The, the like guy who's wearing a lab coat who's the obvious evil person is Dr. Doofenshmirtz and his nemesis is a platypus named Perry I know who Perry platypus is yeah so he's always being like curse your Perry the platypus <laughs> of the Homestar Runner voices, which not many people know that anymore. Jess is getting ready to do the Savage Labyrinth for him. I'm jealous. I love that part. That part can definitely be an annoyance if you're doing a rando. Oh, if they stick something like that's um, progression all the way at the bottom, I think you can set it up to where it's not in there, though. Yep. And I 100% would. I love doing it in a vanilla playthrough, but I think I would get annoyed if it was in a rando. Like, let's put the sword at the bottom! Actually, I think that's physically impossible to do, because I'm pretty sure some of the enemies in that thing are... are, are you have to have a sword to kill. Anything can be a sword once. Yeah, but it might not be enough to kill the enemy. Actually, I mean... 
a lot of randos end up using the hammer as a weapon. Yeah, but if you don't have it... That's him. Yeah. It's like Ocarina of Time randos. I've definitely woke up a lot of people on just how strong Deku sticks are. Yep. They're basically one time use um master swords. Unless you know that trick to break one in half and you can hold it, keep holding it and use it. Also a lot of people learned about the if you I forget what the, the trick is, like if you do a like jumping attack and then do the little mini stabs, it's the same power as a jump attack, so you can kill things super fast that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I learned a lot about the Rando and Ocarina from watching Jacob play it a ton. Yeah, I'm going to have you help me set up some Randos here in a couple months. I'm going to do like a whole big Rando month. I want to do a Link to the Past, Wind Waker, and Ocarina. And if I have enough time in there, maybe I'll stick another one in there. But I think those three will, will be more than enough to get through a month. Might even be a little longer, actually, depending on how the randomizers go. I need to do a full randomizer again. I haven't done one in a while. I started one that night, but... Yeah, I was into that. We should definitely do one. That would be fun. I've been trying to get Jess into it. I've done a Link's Awakening I think she one. would really enjoy them. Huh? I've done a Link's Awakening one. That was... What the fuck? Anyway, sorry. Yeah, there's all kinds of really good randomizers. <sighs> Hi, Difficulty Curve. How are you? It's nice to see you. How's the yep. wife and kids? <laughs> Dead. From the difficulty curve. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that got very dark very quick, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, difficulty curve, aka Chris Benoit. Oh, God. And only me and Allie will get that reference. I'm not risking it again. Because the end of the level is probably right fucking here. And sure enough, it, it was! Uh, uh. I want the Todd. I want the Chompy. Can I have it? I love Chompy. All Chompies are good. All Chompies are good boys. Hey, Autumn, you saved the Todd. I got the Todd. I did it, everyone. I saved the Todd. Good job. You know what would be an interesting randomizer to do? What? Majora's Mask. I've done, I've done it. I've done a Majora's Mask one. Matt has, Xenope has two. We've done a couple of them together. But yeah, they're really good. They're fun too.
How well do you know Metroid games? I know them well enough. I always liked that Super Metroid uh, Link to the Past randomizer. I always thought that was a super cool idea. I feel like they've done more. More what? More uh, concepts like that. I just forget which ones they've done. There's also that Super Metroid Rotation randomizer. Where the levels are like rotated and shit. It's fucking insane. Oh, I saw John do that one night. That was insane. I was watching him play that. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, I watched him do it. Like you have to reorient yourself on the the game, and it's like holy shit. You do it really takes you out of your comfort zone. Well, if you know if how to you know about like the layout of that game, you've got to like kind of just put aside. Everything you know is wrong. I learn what you have learned. <laughs> Bringing a weird out reference. I went for Yoda. <laughs> both, are top, both being top tier references. Mmm, Yoda am I? Uh... You or do not. There is no choice. Do or do not. Which is awful advice. Anger leads to suffering. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. I always loved that battle between Yoda and Cap Dooku. Ah. Uh. <laughs> that might be your loudest one yet. Gonna frack Coca Cola burp this time, huh? Uh. Funny, because I'm actually drinking Coca Cola. I know. I, I, I redeemed the water, water, water thing a little bit ago and saw Oh, and you saw it. Yeah. I'm skipping a. Skipping a Todd. For a second, I want to make sure I'm not missing a Todd. Remington. And it says you're missing one. Found it. Okay. Also, I love your Kirby shirt. Oh. That's so cute. I want that shirt. Sonic, Link, don't know, Peach, Mega Man, Ice Climber, Cloud. The one with the horns is Bowser, right? Oh, it might be, actually, yeah. Ness, Samus, it's Fire Yeah, that's adorable.
I got a bunch of these from that that site. Once upon a tea. I'm hoping Coliseum does another shirt this year. Um, I know in years past they've had Gerard's company use it, uh, make it, but obviously. <sighs> I think they cut him out, unfortunately. They cut who out? Uh, call it the Runaway Guys Coliseum in the past has used Gerard's company to do their shirts, their charity shirt. Oh, yeah, they probably did. They probably did cut him out. And, it's yeah, like I can kind of see why. <laughs> No it's offense to Gerard. I know. It just it sucks because like, you know, um he was there last year for the first time and like he was a great part a great addition to like the crew, but it's just like Yeah, I saw him in a couple clips. His, I uh, wonder how many hearts you can get in this game. I don't know. I don't know what the cap is. Also, in that group of the group of subscribers that uh, disappeared, yeah, Gerard was one of them. Oh, I figured. Yeah, it's been about a month now. Which is crazy to think. You'll always have that. You'll always have, hey, Gerard was subscribed to my channel for a month and it wasn't through the gift sub. That's yeah. awesome. That was really, really fucking cool. That would be, like, the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I was so happy for you. Also, yeah, like I One of your favorites showed up and gave you some love. We already did that joke. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I see. Why are they wearing blindfolds? Oh, I get it, because they won't turn away if you turn back. That's actually pretty funny. Why well, haven't? No, yeah, that's actually really fun. Uh, this game. I never thought of that either. Also, thank you, Marco. And then the light takes care of them. Ah, oh, this is a cl that's clever. I like that part. Take a thwomp to the face, it's cool. Once again, hot. That's hot. Smack! Josias is playing Turnip Boy Robs a Bank. Oh, cool. I'll have to pull him up and have him be lurky. Need to get that. We need to get our boy affiliate. We need to, like, get him, get him, like. Yeah. That, we need to get him as affiliate. He, he, he streams so much and he's fun to listen to. Oh, is, is he not on Twitch right now? No, I just saw him turn it on and on Steam. Oh, well, he's probably getting ready for their live then. 
Yeah, but we need to get our buddy affiliate. I want to get. I want. I want that to be like a goal of ours to help him get get some peoples. I would love to. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. Hey, Ninja. My part. I didn't do fucking shit. Actually, I'm just gonna let you do it. Can you give him a shout out? <laughs> Sorry, oh, is that Ninja. what you were trying to do? <laughs> yeah, I just made it. <laughs> oh. Well, that helps me because I always forget what the number is at the end of his name, so. Welcome in, Ninja. We were to the crazy, horny stream to start and continuing all night. Oh, many different things. Um, first trap pictures of me, us taught out, um, Rosa John, and many different things. Thirst trap pictures of Allie? What? We don't do that around no, here. Never. never. Mm -mm. Nope. No, that's no. definitely not me with my cleavage hanging out. Mm -mm. I see. I saw B. Yeah. In the comments, she she posted a cute little heart. Oh, this bullshit again. So how are you, uh, doing, Ninja? You didn't see the picture this time or the last time? I mean, I'll do it again. I mean, I'm not... I'm... I mean, I, I don't mind. I kind of... <laughs> it's my favorite picture of myself. There's me. That is that is also my favorite picture of you. Yeah, uh, I'm proud of that picture. It got 200 and some likes and... 4,500. It was my first time showing anything from the neck down in a picture since I transitioned. Thank you, Marco. I didn't comment. No, no I didn't comment. I just, I just told you in call. Thanks, Ninja. I got lots of nice comments like, Sweetheart Alley. When I went in her stream, she was saying stuff about it. Scream! Fucking Scream! Was telling me how pretty I was, and it's like, girl, like, shut up. You're like ten leagues above me. <laughs> You're super, super hot. If there was ever a point for me to pull out the no you card, it's for her. She's, well, she's the one I'm crushing on. God, that girl's cute. <laughs> And she's super nice. Go check out Serene, guys. She pops in here every once in a while. I haven't seen her in a bit. But she does come in the chat and says hello sometimes. I think she's only been here once, but... She's cool people. She's busy. She... 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 Uh, yeah, she's job hunting. She got laid off. Mm -hmm. I love how this game has more torpedo Teds in it than the fucking game they were introduced in. I still get a kick out of when you go into submarine mode, it's just Peach's fucking head. It's like, where like, where's is the her? rest of her? Yeah, I was gonna say, where the fuck is the rest of her body? <laughs> She's pulling some sandwich she, like, shit. laying down with her legs up in the, like, like reverse, in, like, in a Boston Crab position? Oh, yeah. I gotta go look at the taco bar. Oh. Ooh, I gotta look. I'm looking. I'm Josiah's looking. Josiah's just went live, by the way. Pull him up here in a sec. Hmm. Ooh, there it is. 
Yeah, please. Oh, give me that taco. I want the taco. It looks good. By the way, the the learning the curve to getting the Discord back to like relatively normal is going to be we're going to still be doing things for a while, so if things are acting up, just let me know and I'll fix them. Like I said, every everyone who was in the Discord when when we changed things should not have been disrupted. Because everyone was level two or higher in the Me6 bot as it was. So everyone should be able to post photos and everything, so. I mean Box Box had an issue with voice chat the other night, so. I wanted to get that resolved too. Just took flame to the face. Yeah, the tacos are good, Marco. You're eating good, buddy. I have not eaten. Tomorrow, I think I might make tacos. Because so I've got a pack of hamburger in there I need to cook up. I've got a box of shells. And all I've got to do is get, like, I need to get some seasoning and some cheese. And I am going to the store tomorrow, so I will probably go ahead and get the stuff to make tacos tomorrow. You know something I made once before that I probably should make again? What? Sloppy Joe Mac. Go on. You got my attention. So make, make Sloppy Joes, however you like them. I I usually use the McCormick packet with uh, tomato paste, but you can use Manwich. Make to make Sloppy Joes. Make a pasta of your choice. Mix the two. So hamburger helper. But yeah, with like Sloppy Joe mix. Yeah, you know that, that sounds good. I'd eat that. Like a chicken type thing. Yeah, I would... I used rotini the last time I made it, but you can obviously use a pasta of your choice. Do you prefer soft or hard shell? Uh, it really depends on my mood. I can go either way. I am by shell. <laughs> <laughs> I can, yeah, I, I, if, yeah, it just depends on what I have, you know, what's on sale, really. I, I can do either shell. Yeah, I don't I'm... have a strong preference over the other. Most times when I'm if I'm making them for my kiddo, she prefers like soft shell. So we'll get like burritos and we'll make burritos. God damn it. Fuck you. That does not look comfortable. Horse Bowser made it. It is very Super Mario Land like, isn't it? I like those levels. I think that's a very underrated game, by the way. I like Super Mario Land. Two is like a million times better, but the original is good too. One is I don't short. think there is. Was there an airplane level in this? I forget. No, I don't think so. No, you just have the float and you have the um, submarine. But yeah, I can definitely see the, the airplane level. I have never finished... Um, I finished Mario Land 2 and 3. I have never finished uh, 1. I actually finished two on stream one time, just randomly. Two what? I'm sorry, I was doing a mod thing. Oh, it's okay. 
I've Super beaten Mario Land two. Two and three I've beaten, but not one. Two, uh, the Wario b b battle in two, legitimately hard, I, in my opinion. Yeah, the entire it, game. He's always high. I actually have a clip of me beating Wario, and he like fucked me up. It was kind of funny. Oh shit! Yeah, he's he's tough. Yeah, Mario Land 2 is the easiest game in the world until you get to Mario's Castle, and it's like, holy shit, where did this come from? Yeah. I think the worst part about it is you have to beat it in one go. There are yep, no checkpoints. Yep. yep. And it's infuriating. Yeah, I do love Super Mario Land 2. Um, now, 3 is just Wario, right? That's Wario 1. That's Wario Land 1. I love that game. I f that's one of my favorite. That's probably like my favorite. Uh, second, probably second, second or third favorite original Game Boy game. I uh, love that game so War much. Wario Land is definitely one of my favorite games of all time. It's in the top 20 yeah. for sure. Mm hmm. Yeah, I love I love I love 2D Wario platformers. I really wish that Nintendo would bring those back. They are. It's called Anton. Are any, are any... I don't think they are. What? War are any of the Wario's on NSO? Wario Land Three. They need to get on the ball with the others. Yeah, they do. Oh my god, I love those games so much. Two is definitely a And I'll a tell trip. you what, I, I'll tell you what is a very underrated game that nobody ever mentions is... In fact, I'll mention two of them. One is Wario World for the GameCube. And the other one is uh, Wario Land Shake It for the Wii. Two a really fun 2D platformers. Um, Still there? Yeah. No, I was, I was okay. going to say, yeah, Wario World is a fucking trip. Yeah, it's weird. It's trippy. And I love that about it. I love that it's just, just it's out of left field. It's it's just a strange fucking game. And the way they do power ups in like the later ones is really fucking neat. Oh, like you there. take damage from an enemy and like, oh hey, Wario can float now. You know, shit like that. Turns into a vampire. Yeah. Eats a donut, becomes, like, super heavy. Yeah, yeah, it's just so, like, just out of left field. Hey, guess what Bomberman we're in. versus Wario. We're in an ad break. Oh, yeah, we are. I like Bomberman. Bomberman. The Bomberman games are fun. <clears throat> I loved watching Jules speedrun Bomberman 64. That was a fucking trip. Some of the glitches in that game is crazy. While we're on break, I'm going to use the bathroom because I have to use the bathroom. I will be right back.
you still there? Yeah. I didn't know if you went to go do something while I was gone. I will say, I was thinking this this morning when I put my hair up. I do know my hair has gotten longer because when I was first putting it up in high ponies, it would barely go to the middle of my head. But now it goes mm -hmm. to my shoulders. Oh, well, good. So, you have pretty know. hair. You got very pretty hair. Hair. I might do a stream of zero emission soon. Game. My favorite Metroid game. Me too. Like, Super is a close second, but I always like. See, the reason. There's one little teeny tiny reason why I like Zero Mission more than Super. Grabbing ledges. Yeah. Is the biggest. Yeah, it, it just, like, it's so much better to be able to grab a ledge. I've often said, if they ever remake Super Metroid, change nothing except let me grab ledges, and I will give that game 100% perfect status. I played Super for the first time during that chunk of Metroid games I played. I, d I don't like Super. Oh, I love it. I love Super. Ah. I like Zero Mission and Fusion. And I know how much people hate Fusion because it's too linear, but I love it. I wasn't oh, scared about it being linear. I thought it was just fun. Nope, it's that's not my... It's, it's, it's probably closer to the middle of my list, but Metroid's also one of those series where, like, in a list of, like, Nine and tens, the worst games are like seven and eights. Except for Other M, that shit can fuck off. Ha, Marco. No, just kidding. <laughs> Honestly, you know, I'm being, you know, I'm being silly, but kind of like Other M. Other it's M's. not the best game in the world. I, it's not like game of the year or anything like that. But it's not as bad as everybody makes it out to be. It's just the story is really fucking awful. The story is off. We're talking about other M. Uh, the story's awful. There are some questionable gameplay play choices, but <sighs> that was the guy who made the game's d decision to not use the nunchuck. Which, if he had used the nunchuck, would have alleviated ninety percent. <laughs> Of the issues. Yeah, I've J heard that too, Styrofoam. Yeah, I believe it. And as far as, far as Super goes, yeah, the controls are a bit outdated, because remember, that game was created for the Super Nintendo. You know, outdated technology. It could use a remake with updated controls and... You know, like I said, add stuff like like grabbing ledges, 
If it had just a little bit of a touch up to it, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Modernize it a little. So many doors. See you, Pod, mocking us. Probably put yourself in that box because you thought it was quirky and silly. Who? What now? What now is going on? I'm making fun of Todd's. Oh. They just want to feel important. <laughs> oh. oh no! I've been I've been kidnapped again. <laughs> That sounded like Marge. Never mind. That did sound like Marge. Ow, homie. <laughs> I just singed my asshole. Oh. Todd. How the f fuck am I supposed to get that? I dopey. French fried crusted corn dogs. I need this in my life. Yeah, the the translation of Final Fantasy VII, it's it's definitely. Who was playing it for the first time the other day? Oh, Mickey. I said Mickey, I thought. And I was telling, because she was playing the the mod, the um, the voice actor mod. And I was like, yeah, the the voice acting in this game. I'm sorry, the 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 translation in this game is is fun. <laughs> yeah, translation in the '90s was very iffy. That's why you get the the the, the uh, line in Final Fantasy VII. Let's mosey. I've heard people say that in real life. Yeah, me too. But it's like, who puts that in a fucking video game? <laughs> um. No, I would have to remember the context. It's right at the end of the game when they're going to face Sephiroth. Um. But yeah, the voice acting mod has has definitely updated that script really well. This part sucks. It sure does. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Oh, guess I was. Like Vivian. I'm wondering if Todd is in one of these. That would be a no to him. Indeed, like Vivian. Yeah. That's the end of the level.
<laughs> Mario gives Bibby in a pearl necklace. Oh my god. Oh, he does! Keep going in the right one by accident. Mario and Vivian together would be kind of cute, not gonna lie. NGL. Huh? NGL. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's shortened. Oh. Yeah, it'd be kind of cute if they hooked up. It'd be adorable. Vivian does have a crush on him. And Bella. And Big Titty... Big Titty Goth Actress Ghost. And I thought that's what she was saying, too. And I'm like, what? Who? What is this reference? <laughs> I'm more of a Genesis fan my, myself, thank you. We'll be a cute couple. Mario hooks up with cute goth trans girl. Josias might be playing Turnip Boy with Box. Yeah, I'm working in the chat. Yeah, Box is there. I'm glad he came back in here. Yeah. That made me happy. How did you not get eaten just now? I'm special. How are you avoiding getting eaten if he's seeing you? I thought if he saw you, he got eaten. You have to be in the same position as the statues. Oh, that's what we're doing here. Okay, I didn't pick up on that. Do we know why he returned? All he said when he came back that night was... Oh God, what did he say exactly? Oh, God damn it. He just apologized for the way he reacted with the whole thing that happened. And I left it at that. I'm not gonna force, I'm not gonna push the issue. Like. I thought it was very mature of him. Oh, okay, fine. Got it. Chat. If you're a fan of the Metroid series, what's your favorite Metroid game? Well, I just told you mine, so... Yeah. Fusion. Thank you. 
Ah. This is the last toad I need to get, so hopefully we'll find it. There you are, Todd. Platform. Oh. I think my, if I had to rank them all, probably go zero mission, prime fusion. Think about them. Think about it. But yeah, those are definitely your mission. Super prom prom two fusion. Uh, dread. No, I would put dread above fusion. Um, dread was damn good. Uh, prom three. Uh, where Samus Returns remake. Other M, original Samus Returns. And it, no, yeah, no, I put Metroid 1 original over Samus Returns. Original. Yeah. Um, I have Prime Hunters, but I've not played it. I can't rank that one. And I'm one of 32 people on the planet who own a copy of Federation Force. Mm. He's just like floating down. I've been in all of these cages. Right. Ah, booze. Doing this with a mouse is a pain in the ass. This looks like a pain in the ass with a mouse. Oh God. Shit. Yeah, Metroid Dread was amazing. Hard as fuck, but amazing. It is the Dark Souls of Metroid. Dread, uh, Samus Returns walked so that Dread could run. I like Samus Returns. It, it really was one of those, like, something I wish that game developers would do was, to, it's like, take a game that really doesn't have like the best re like review or doesn't age well or wasn't that great to begin with and repeat those kind of games and make them good. They did a really good job with that review. I don't even know how you got hurt that time. How do you make them run away? You have to tap on them. Luckily, if you hold the mouse oh. down, it's it works, but it's like... You were supposed to, like, tap them. Over and over again, but it doesn't work that way. Gotta get lucky. 
Damn, the hitbox is one of those things that are ridiculous. Hurry! What the hell, game? Are you gonna be able to do this? I did the last one. I honestly don't know styrofoam. Story is always something that comes like almost last to me when I play video games. Maybe Final Fantasy VII story. I actually am wondering, what do you think mine is? God damn, you actually got it. <sighs> yeah, definitely where we differ in video game opinions. I hate those kind of games. I don't consider them video games. I consider them visual novels that you click a button every now and then and do something. gave Danganronpa a chance. I couldn't get invested. I have the collection that has, like, the three in it. Yeah, I bought, I bought the... I bought them all. I streamed it. I streamed the first one. Marco, you are right. I'll give it time. God, are you going to be able to get past this with these jank controls? Yeah. I got to the bottom before. I just have to pay attention. Sometimes the booze will miss her, but it's just fucking luck. That one takes a while. Oh. Well, the guys are very fast, but the weaker ones out of the way. Being this brat won't take long. I'm fine with this vibrator. I'll pump up your strength. Oh, I think a brat. That seems really out of place. Styrofoam, are you talking about the Life is Strange series? Apparently, Bowser can fly now. To battle! Can fly now. Oh, they fly now! They 
fly now? Thank you. They fly now! I need my mouse. There it is. And now we fly now. And then Peach goes to heaven. Oh, never mind. Not heaven. <laughs> Impressive. Enough of that. Now you understand the true, true power of this vibrator. Oh boy. Well, he actually throws hammers at me. Saw Mario one of them. Right? He hasn't done that in a long time. Outside of this game. Holy shit. <laughs> I can see it. Oh. He is a goo. That's why I love him. I've said it many times, I mean this in the most non-sexual way possible. I just want to cuddle up next to him. He's so adorable. I love him so much. He's so cute. He's just a big idiot. He just needs to get Peach out of his head already. That girl don't want you, dude. Peach, stop trying. You can't force it. I remember this boss battle being kind of tough. Uh oh. God fucking damn you, Bowser, you fucking asshole! Get him, Adam, get him! Does that mean I have to do the. Oh. Bowser, he kind of is. He's just a, he's a big cuddly dummy. Oh no, do you gotta do the floaty down part again? 
No, luckily. Jesus Christ. I would have cried. I would cry. Back here, fucker. Skip this, please. Bowser, you bitch. Roasted peaches. P.D. Johnson. I'm doing well. How are you? Welcome in. Big hammer. Bowser, fuck off. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, good to hear. <clears throat> you came just in time to see the final boss of this game. again oh yeah this is, a, this, is a, this is a very fun game hey you did it do i though oh is there a face too big boy he's a big boy now look at him I am not 
doing all those phases again. Hold on. Save Satan. Shh. <laughs> yes, I am saying. Oh, come on. We're all gamers here. Nobody's judging anybody. Yeah, like in Yoshi. I bet you gotta get the the ticking babam under his hands. Taking that too. supposed to beat this. Huh. Please hold. I've beaten this before, I just can't remember it. What do you gotta do? Bomb his face. Oh, you just gotta time him up. Holy shit, how do you avoid that? There you go. Oh. Oh look, a full health. Yeah, it was just hiding right there. It was under it was under his finger now. Like I saw it. Yeah. God, that timing is hard. It looks like it.
How I avoided that, I don't know. I'll take it. It was a gift. Tell me you're about to do what I think you're about to do. Too high! It counted. He's down to one now. It damaged him. Fuck you, Bowser. Did he regain health? He does, same way I do. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. He does have the same powers. You Bowser. <sighs> that was not a good cycle. <laughs> I'm gonna start over. It's gonna start over. I need to have five powers left over at the end. I can't waste all my health. Oh, that's a new one. Mm -hmm. Bowser, are you using moves that I haven't seen yet?
Fuck you, sir. Ooh. That move sucks. Got him! Oh, he's crying. Fuck you, Bowser. I don't care. Ha! Yeet! Nice shot! <laughs> what the fuck? That was random. Aww, that's cute. Princess Peach and her dupe two boyfriends are going home. Oh, and Mario and Luigi are going home too. Oh wow! <laughs> the vibrator has strange the mysterious powers. That's for sure. How do you oh my! This last adventure. How did you feel? One thing about that vibrator, no one knows who created it or why, but somewhere someone might be possibly using it right now! <laughs> I just stepped your behind back. Your dad got mad at you the other day. <laughs> your mom's in happy them. laughing a lot? Oh, no. uh... <laughs> Some... The vibrator's hidden away in your house somewhere. <laughs> what? Was that in the original game? <laughs> There's no way that was put in the original game. That had to be added by like, like the people who made this mod or this, uh, not this mod, but this, uh, this, this ROM emulator. Dad's mad because mom's using the vibrator again. She's just using it to make herself happy. <laughs> happy. So happy. No! I hate when that happens. What? When you're trying to copy something, a raid message, and, and the chat keeps the fucking moving and you can't... Yep. That's why I took I it, and put it, it. it. That's why I took it and put it in my notepad so I can just have it. Well, Bowser doesn't wear anything, to be fair. He's a dragon. He's a turtle dragon. What does he need to wear? <laughs> he would look silly with clothes, to be honest. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Cut it off just at the right part point. Ah, uh, he just quit it. Got the dash, dash brother unlocked. You save this area out of the area one. Defeat each area's boss so for new phases. They get harder to collect. Clear all um, mini game levels and puzzles for a gift. Yes. This game had post game content. I forgot about that. Yeah, I've seen some some of the facility stuff they've done before. <laughs> like, it's just not right. <laughs> Why are these levels not clear anymore? I don't get it. Are all these levels not clear anymore? No, 
Now the question is, do we... Do these levels too, or do we call it here? I've beaten the game. That's that's your that's your decision. You're the streamer. I'll play at least world one. So you can see what these new levels are like. Oh boy. Oh Jesus Christ. Blue, purple, blue, purple, red. did it by accident <laughs> the right way <laughs> see I don't think there's any like collectibles in these levels they're just levels yeah we don't even have a toad toad emblem in the in the corner Chompies. Good boys. Excuse me, I needed to find my mouse. Puzzle G. As in the G spot. Oh. Got it. Smack. Oh, I don't like that those are all unstarred now. Oh dear god. My mouse go. Hiding from the cats. Ha. This is the whole level, just climbing this one vine. What it looks like. Okay, I don't know how the fuck I slipped out of that, but sure. Yeah, right? Took a bullet bill to the face. Hot. Uh, oh, are we doing this again? Thank you. 
all the fish on your island on that island is trash like like the like the tires that you end up getting if you fish I almost just took another bill to the base Okay, game. What are you? Oh, okay. I see. I see. Oh, that was not good. Patui. It looked like there was something down what? there. Fuck you. Fuck you. How did we end up in an ad break again? What the fuck? Just had Because it does. <sighs> nope, not there. Legit right at the fucking end of the level. <laughs> wow. Dick swamps.
Hold on one second. have to rebeat every single boss to open up the extra levels. You do. I'm not doing that. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> fuck that. Mm, I mean, like, yeah, fuck this shit. I'm out. How's everyone doing? You guys still, you still good? Got another like hour in you? Maybe we'll start Link's Awakening. Um, I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. I've had a busy day. Did a lot of cleaning. I beat that earlier than I was expecting. Gargano is streaming. You know what? I think I'm going to call it early tonight. We've been going late the last couple nights, so we can call it early tonight. Probably go shower, since I'm probably going to take tomorrow off. Zone at some point. I might be on earlier tomorrow, but we'll see. I will probably be streaming when you start them. You're gonna be okay that I start Link's Awakening with that, yeah? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're playing a game that I know pretty well, so it's not like I'm missing anything. As far as games go. <laughs> Probably got off. Link's Awakening. She's going to be playing uh, Link's Awakening, Marco. The, the remake. Since we were just talking about Serene earlier, let's go raid some. Playing marbles. Murple Durple. Yeah, I'll be playing the one and only Zelda game for the month. I'm going to wrap it around my birthday, and then we'll have some fun on my birthday, which is Monday. So. We'll be doing something different on my birthday. I will explain it when we get there. It's all set up, ready to go. We just gotta get there first. Can't believe it's already my birthday. Y'all have a wonderful evening. I'm gonna go do stuff and then go to bed. Have a wonderful night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Jay Soulman is here.